This is what we came up with. Um, we've got a sign up website and a logo. The logo's amazing, and they? <laughs> this is um, our wireframes. Um, once the kids have signed up for it, this is the screen that they'll see on the app. Um, so they're writing their business name, the industry that they want the business to be, then they choose an icon, and then they have a brief outline of the project. Then this is where they upload their one minute video pitch. Um, then this is the home page, and once they click on one of the icons, it shows up with everybody else in the app. Once you click on somebody's account, it will show up with a page looking a bit like this, with their name, their business, um, and then you can click on their video and watch their video. Um, then there's comments that you can write and then you can share on social media. So our three major pivots were name change. So we changed our name, um, our original business name because of the domain wasn't available. Uh, we also changed the key demographic to kids, which raised three key questions. Would parents be concerned about security? Would parents pay for the app? And how would we raise the money to fund the development, which I'll get to in a second. Um, and we changed our MVP a lot of times. Um, customer validation. This morning I went to the kids' markets at Missoula Valley. We had two surveys. One was a parent survey. And from 26 parents surveyed in the local area, 100% said, 100% of them Oh, no. 100% of them said that they would let their child use the app and that they would pay 99 cents for it in the app store. And 65% said that they would do a monthly subscription. Then we did the kids survey, and from 11 kids that were surveyed, 100% said that they would use it. And 27% of them were willing to share their ideas instantly, and they already have some videos. Um, these are some examples. We also had an online survey, so 23 parents filled in the survey. 91% of them would buy the app from the app store, 39% were willing to pay a subscription fee, and 56% said that they wanted their children to attend training to develop their entrepreneurial and leadership skills. <laughs> Pre-release validation. So 10 out of 26 people signed up online for the app pre-release through significant media publications contacting me for an interview. And the founder of the Little Black Dress Group offered to introduce Ideally Nice some investors and there's the <laughs> social media community, Facebook, we got 64 likes and we have 51 um, Twitter followers. And for the financial stuff, in order to raise money to further develop the app, I plan to run kids training events on an entrepreneurship like a startup weekend for kids. Thank you. 